Um, the final principle uh, about how games create a good understanding, deep understanding, uh, is uh, the principle I've called in some places the situated meaning principle. We can also call it meaning as action and image. Um, now, in schools, most of the time, what you are given are words. You're given a lecture or you're given textbooks. But how do words, or any symbol, how do they get meaning? Well, in school, we think they get meaning by other words, right? If I don't know what a word is, I get a definition. I get other words. If I can't understand a text, I get another text. Uh, we just trade words for words. But that is not actually how human understanding for words and symbols works. People really only understand a word or a symbol when they can associate an image or an action or a goal or an experience they've had. Words are about the world. It's about things we do. Think about a game manual. What gives the, me, the words in a game manual meaning? It's the images, actions, and experiences you're having in the game. What gives the words in a chemistry textbook meaning? It's the actions, practice, activities, and goals chemists do in doing chemistry. So words can have what I call situated meaning if you can associate images and actions and goals with them. And you can only do that if you've had more than words. You've had experiences. You've been in the world, whether it's a simulated world or the real world, that the words are about. If all you can do is give the definitions, you have just verbal meanings. Verbal meanings are okay for passing paper and pencil tests, but situated meanings are the foundation of understanding problem solving.